Hello, Hello everybody, my name is Julian and welcome back to another episode of Animal Lake. We are supposed to cut to the, the power to the transformer yard. So let's see what we can do about this. We are helping that weaver old lady and we're fighting again. Big guys. Come on. Just die. Right. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's not worth the revolver's ammunition. Weaver had sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I had stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. Okay, we've got a save point and a puzzle again. I could again. see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Thank you very much. And how am I supposed to do that? This is like a puzzle where I'm supposed to get all three of them together. I think it is. Let's try this. This. Now. This. Don't do that, Jesus. This. Yes, found it. I don't know what the hell I did, but I found that. Thank you very much. My brain and my fingers for doing that. I don't know how my brain helped me, but... Rule number two. Keep the lights on. Turn it off. No, don't waste that. Oh my god, that was such a waste. At least I get one back. Designs these things. I don't know. The old woman. Are you kidding me? Okay. Please. The transformer yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passed and should now be good to go. Okay. Hopefully this game won't troll me anymore. <laughs> don't! That was close. Come on, come on, let's just go back to Weaver. Hopefully I'm not going to be attacked by those amazing enemies called ghosts. I think they're ghosts. Come on, bitch. You're dead. You're dead too. You're too. And that's it. Come on, I have to tame the door. That's kind of funny. Are you kidding me? A chainsaw? If I heard that correctly? Yup. I just hate this game so much. I don't know how... How much I hate this game. Okay, where's that bitch? The bitch with the chainsaw. I did two of them. I hope there are not two of them. Come on. Nice. Don't waste that because you're a little one. And one more to go. I think that was it. For now. Alright. Let's go back to Weaver. Reload this flare gun. Reload it, Jesus. And 
Let's go to River. The old crazy woman. You don't say anything? You're just crazy? Just staying this there? way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The okay. pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. Come this on. Way. We need to go. I we knew them to. both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> And then wow. Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. A witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my head, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room right there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it. If the darkness isn't stopped, she'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me. You know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. Weird. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! Her sweet love of- Barry! Uh, they were attacked Barry! by birds? We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Really? At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. They can't be dead. The well-lit room. Can I enter this building? No, it's not a building. Okay, let's just take the page then and try to reach safety the crash site. Maybe Barry isn't dead. Okay, they, they were attacked by birds. I don't think. Fucking birds. Fucking birds. I don't know if it's a good idea to shortcut it so I'm just going the long way just to be safe this way we are taking some goodies and we are protected by the crows the stupid crows that think they can destroy me alright no Best way to die in the game. Okay. Okay, Kraus. I'm waiting for you. They're almost dead. All of them. Let's go. This time, I'm going to be so careful. Jump. Because those. 
Those devils are on my butt. They're right behind me. Like this. Couldn't do anything because I was falling. I think I was still falling when I did that. Which is kinda bad. Okay, they can be dead. Barry! Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Yep. Find Sarah and Barry. They're alive, dude. Okay. They left flare guns. Flares. So keep an eye on the ground. Just be careful. Just follow the. Okay, the well lit room. Just follow the circle. Okay. They're Barry! here. Barry! That's so good. Barry's still alive. I'm happy to hear that. I got flashbangs. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so great that I have flashbangs. <laughs> Shit! I don't know what the hell is happening here. I better stick with them. Stick with them. He shot me. She shot me. An entrance way. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew no problem. Be, right? How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, uh, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Okay. Reach the top of the dam. Is this a generator? No, it's not. What the hell is this? Is this a... Okay. When you spend most of your night running uphill while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, you know your helicopter crash landed in uh, Night Springs. <laughs> My question is, careful, huh? How did you land? Oh, sure. I should have kept that gym member. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Okay. You can't be of course. Alive. Listen. You end? The hell is that thing? It's everywhere. I think so. Possible. Everything is possible. Do something. Oh, cool. No fair. Al, they're all over the place. They're dead. Was that they're dead, it? Barry. Are we safe? That was. Wow. I think we're okay. My question is, did you have like a parachute? Hey, Al. I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. <sighs> This is a bad idea. I know we're gonna regret this. They can are filled with darkness. But that's something I knew. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. Shut the fuck up. I hear something moving around. I'm opening the fuse box. <laughs> then I'm going to call the elevator. Yeah, so slow. Hopefully Heads the up. elevator has come. music. Oh no!
guys for helping me. You've been a great help. Where's the elevator? Let's go in the light. Into the light. Come on, push it. We're safe for now. So reload everything. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wade? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas, Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Right. Okay. When are we going to meet the old lady? Let's be careful, okay? Oh, jeez, I hate this. I hate it too. But what can I do? Okay, wait. Hmm? There's a button over there that opens the door. Let me guess. I have to go. There, right? Because that's fair, I'm supposed to do everything in this game. Why is it so quiet in this game? Oh, here is the bottom. Bottom. <coughs> I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Really? I hope you're going to put something there. Quickly. Come on. You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, wait. You just look after yourself. Let's commit suicide. Of course. You gotta be kidding me. Yes, you gotta be. Go find yourself. I'm blind. You. Over there. Go park yourself. Down, boy. Okay, so I guess we're going this way. Finally. And I love that my internet connection is this. is just so bad. Maybe that's why the game was better. Maybe I should run games offline. Yep. Save point. Yay. That's a long bridge. Oh shoot. Oh, no. Shit. Does it? Okay, that's the dam. I hope the ghost doesn't break something. <laughs> Where? Come on, this is a ghost. Let's see, follow this. Go up. Climb. Climb. Everything should be normal. Right, and I'm going that way. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Defeat the Taken? What? Reloaded. Guys, okay. Use the shotgun. Okay, there's so many of them. Get 
okay. That's the worst thing to happen. Don't have health. Like anything. Don't you dare throw that at me. You can take them. Am I getting a dream? I think that was Sarah. You will go no further. Go fuck yourself. Are you kidding me? Ouch. Stop. Stop. Yeah, my one listen to you. Stupid darkness. Come on, go into the light. That's light over there. Perfect. Time. To reload a pistol and then a revolver, whatever. Oh my! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so it's from here. Come on! Shoot! Okay, I made, made it through. For those things, please don't kill me. Come on, find the light. Great time to get coffee. Oh my god. during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Nice. Probably locked. No, just an invisible wall. Ready. Okay, lady, open the safe. Ready. Take it. Anymore because six and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this, it was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. 
Wow. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Episode 6 Departure. New York City two years ago. Oh! Oh no. about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. Okay. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Then why don't you quit drinking? Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Painkillers, I see them. Pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. You just take those painkillers with that water? <laughs> what? I left the ba uh, bedroom. <laughs> there was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this as your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. Okay. I can't run. Where's television? Look, TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. Oh, my God. It is a good read. Look. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So... How's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. 
but I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Boy, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, uh, you are famous for that temper. What? Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? No. I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back Ladies to sleep, Alan. That's all we have for you. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. And that vacation turned into a nightmare. Bright Falls, the present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Okay. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. It's crazy. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Okay, but fortunately I'm out of time for this episode, so we're going to get to the Calder Cauldron Lake in the next one, so I hope you enjoy and we'll see you in the next video, bye.